Hi everyone, Emma here. So this is going to be a 10 minute tip. We're going to see if I can do it in 10 minutes. So let's get started. <laughs> Let me just adjust the camera here. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we are going to do a quick bezel. So I have this cushion crystal and uh, let me see how big it is for you. And where is my tool I keep moving it thinking this is the spot that I'll remember I put it uh, I have like stick it notes pointing to things 10 <laughs> so this is 10 millimeter let me uh yeah get that done okay so this is cushion cut this is a Swarovski I'm guessing jet I got these a long time ago when Beta Holic was um going out of business but then they got bought out by somebody I haven't because they're in the states I haven't uh, gotten anything from them I'm just using uh, my glasses silk to uh, clean that oh that looks lovely okay so you're gonna need some 11 o beads so there is kind of different beads for different things the basic bead i wanted to keep was or the the one that has the most beads in it is the black because i want to keep most of the black of this crystal so if you look on the back too you can see it let me enlarge this this does not look very bright and it might be just because there's a lot of black here so um so you need a main color 11 o seed beads I'm gonna use the black then you're gonna need an alternate color and this color is gonna outline your blacks so that's this um, Delica 11 o Delica frosted silver and you see that again up here and and I'll explain what I mean by it outlines the black and then I just did an embellishment. So I have four millimeter pearls and 11 o and you know what? I looked up this color and I can't remember now. Salmon, uh, silver lined salmon in case you're wondering. So that's that color there next to the pearl. The pearls, four millimeter uh, gray, dove gray. And then I have some 15 Oh, seed beads they look like tohos they're not very rounded they're more tubular and those are just a metallic pink so I've I've put them all out so I'm gonna move these containers the black is a um, semi matte black I got a long time ago I don't know who makes them they kind of look like Miyuki's so let's move these guys out of the way so <laughs> Here's the elephant in the room is the reason I'm doing this is I'm getting ready to finish this bracelet. This is part of the uh, curiosity box number three Venice and this was the cabochon this incredible cabochon that I am just crazy about. Um, yeah, so that kind of inspired the whole thing. So let's see, we're at three, four minutes. I better get moving. We'll see how fast this goes and we'll talk about this after. So you're going to start. I have some 1G thread. I just used gray. It's not super important. You can't really see the threads anywhere. And... So I'm just going to set that aside. I've got a size 12 needle. You can use a size 10. It'll work just as well. A little less than a wingspan. You don't need a whole bunch of thread to bezel. So you're going to start by putting, if depending on what you have and how you want it bezeled, you can figure that out for yourself. I would start out with 20 beads and then add sets of two. So what we're going to do for this one is we're going to add 20 black beads, but in between each five, we're going to add one of these silver 
beads. So that's going to give us a total of 24 beads. And as you can see on this, before I added the 50 nose, it it kind of outlines the um, the bezel. So the 50 nose was just added insurance to get it to tuck in to make sure it wasn't going anywhere. So let's get started. Two, one, two, three, four, five of the main color. And let me bring this a little closer here. One of the silver and then five more. Oh, my needle's bent. That's why they're falling off. Oh, let me see if I can hold it upward. So one, two, three. Oh, for heaven's sake. There's five and one. So that's two now. One, two. Three, four, five, and one, one, two, three, four, five, and one. Okay, so this is what you have on your line. Okay, four sets of five with the one in between each of the silver. You're going to go down to the bottom of your line. Leave a bit of a tail just to hang on to. We're going to sew back through everything. Like that. And at this point you can twist it like this and place it over your to get an idea of the size. So that is helpful too. So I'm just going to go through as many beads as I can. And come back around to where we started. You can um, do a knot. Like just put them on, do a knot. And some people will reinforce that by going through again. I think for bezeling, it's really important that you do go through a couple of times, but like at least once. I wouldn't go any more than that. So now I'm just going past where that thread is. And let me see, I think I need, I need to go through that gray as well. That will come out of the gray. So we're gonna use the gray ones as landmarks to add other beads. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add seven beads and we're going to go through the next um, silver delica but the middle of that seven and i'm going to double check it, it might be five i may have changed it for this design so we have yeah there's three there three there and the one there so seven so the middle one is going to be, which is the fourth one, is going to be um, the silver. So do one, two, three, a silver, one, two, three, like that. You're coming out of this silver, you're going to go into the next silver. Like that. Just like that. And do that all the way around. So one, two, three, one silver, one, two, three, then go to the next silver. You don't have to do color changes, but it's really, um, it looks kind of neat with this design because I have included in my design, I have included these silver beads. So it kind of, brings in everything we, that we've added and then of course the pink or the salmon is right there so okay so one two three 
and a silver. One, two, three. Go through that next silver. That. That's what you have so far. Pick up three black and a silver, three more black, like that, and go through the next silver. Now when we go through this next silver, we're going to go through the next three black and come out of the silver that's up top. So through here, through those three, and up top. My thread. <laughs> How did I get that thread in there? <gasps> okay. Let's take a look at what we have here. So, this part, these ones here are going to be here. Oh, where am I here? On the camera. So these ones here, these silvers. So what we need to do is we need to loop them together. And in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to place our crystal in face down like that because the circle is the front, just like that. Now you can wait till you have a few sides together, but we'll see if this works. Get this thread out of the way. You are going to pick up one 11 0. You're coming out of this silver bead. You're going to go through the next silver bead. Like that. Just going to leave it a bit loose there. Pick up, we'll tighten it at the end. Pick up one 11 0. You're coming out of this silver. You're going to go through the next silver of kind of these little pointy ones, the ones that are in between the seven beads. That. And just turn your work around, grab one more 11 0 black. I'm just going to hang on to this thread to make sure it's out of the way. Then we're going to pick up the next silver on the outer ring. And at this point, we can pull it in like that. You're going to, I'm just going to hold it with my finger. You're going to add one more 11 0, go through the next silver bead. And pull it nice and tight so they all come in like that. It's hard to see on the black. If you're really having a hard time seeing on the black, let me know. I, I will review this video after too and check. I may do like a, a different one for you with a different color. I am just going to go around at least one more time to secure that thread so that it's nice and tight. And remember, this is going to be loose. We need to secure that. Let's see if we can pop that back in. That. Okay, I'm going to go through. back and go around the next one okay 
that. So that is set for that one. I'm going to bring my needle up to the front. So I'm going to go up through these three. That. And I'm going to go around this silver one and the one next to it. And we're going to flip that so you can see what I have here. So it's still quite loose at the front. Now we're going to add our 50 nose. So add three 50 nos, the pink. You're coming out of the bead next to the silver. You're going to skip all these beads. You're going to go through the bead next to the silver, through the silver, and then the one next to it. So you're going to go around and you're going to add three beads. Actually, I'm going to turn my bezel or my crystal. So if you get your corners of your crystal where those 15s are, that will secure them. It's moving around a lot, but let's see. Okay, now pick up three 15s. Skip the middle ones, the middle two, go through, sorry, the middle three, go through the one black, the one silver, and the other black. Like that. Pick up three 50 nose pink. You're coming out of that black. You're going to skip three black, go through the next black, the silver, and the next black. That. Let's see what we got going on here. The thread. I tend to not leave a thread at the beginning of my work. I tend to put knots in for this reason. It annoys me when the thread gets in the way. Okay, one more set of 350 nos. Like that. You're going to skip. the heck okay we're there i'm confusing it with the uh, tail thread okay so skip the three in the middle grab your set your one black your one silver and your one black now now we can pull tight This looks so different than the other one. Oh, you know what I did? Is I did it wrong, that's why. So here's the difference. You can put, I should have taken these three 50 nose and put them across these three and it would pull the black in. So you can bezel it this way. It looks a bit different, which is kind of interesting. Let me show you the other one. So very different design. So let's take these out. Okay. 
you know, there's days like today where I find when I'm working on a project and I'm making mistakes like this, it's time. If it's a very important project like this, it's time to put the stuff away and just take a rest day. Eh? Because you're just going to mess things up and you're going to go back the next day and you're going to be like, why did I do that? <laughs> when you're tired, those things happen. So let's, this is going to make a lot more sense. So instead of I think I think I will take these off. I'll go through the next set of beads and then come back. So this is what your little cup looks like for your your bezel. Let's get this back on. Okay, so what we need to do is bind the black beads on either side of the silver. So we're going to go through three beads here in this direction, like that. And actually that's pulling it in, so we can put this in now. I was wondering why it wasn't, it didn't feel secure. So, look, you can almost, if you put enough tension on this, you could actually, you wouldn't have to add anything. So, now we're in the right spot. Pick up 315 of the pinks. Okay, you're going to skip the one black, the silver, the one black. You're going to go through the middle three beads. I'm trying to get more light on here. Okay. That makes more sense. <laughs> you know what I find now what being retired, being a retired nurse, making mistakes now is nothing. <laughs> And let me tell you, you don't want to make a mistake when you're working in medicine. It's not fun at all for anybody, patients included. So let me just pop that back in. Trust me, this is easier. <laughs> I know you guys believe me. It's very... I have butter fingers today. Okay, I'm going to just take that out for a second here. So now I'm going to skip a black bead, a silver bead, a black bead. And I'm going to go through the middle three black beads like that and we're going to pick up the three pink 50 nose oh that one doesn't want to play okay you're going to skip a black a silver a black go through the middle three beads and you can go through the next pink ones. And we're going to go through this at least one more time to secure everything. Just flip those to the inside. Make sure. So this is what you have. Set your... Oh, it's very slippery. It was all that polishing. 
Okay. Now pull, pull, pull. That's in. There, it's nice. At the back, you can kind of get your crystal oriented to the middle. And then there is the front. Let's go through everything. So go through the three black beads. The three pink. I was, um, I'm getting ready to finish this bracelet and I wanted to add the next, um, this crystal. So I wanted to make sure that I showed you this technique because it's really, uh, it's kind of a game changer in a sense that it makes it easy to do a bezel of any size. Even I would even suggest any shape. And you can hold me to that because I will be doing some bezeling videos soon. I know I did some last year. And, um, you know, it was a lot of fun. But I hear people comment about being concerned with doing, say, a peyote bezel that it's sometimes difficult to do. So I thought this would be a good way to show you how to do it without the peyote. Let's go through here. There. Go through these last three. We're going to bring our thread down. Now it's very tight. I can't get in there. There we go. Like that. Go through these three here. Okay. And we we'll want to go to this silver bead so we can add the embellishment. Now on the one that I showed you the example, I only have um, three pearls because I'm attaching it here to my bracelet. So I didn't want that third pearl there. Okay, so where's my needle? So now we're going to come down. There's one bead there and then the silver bead. So go through those. That's why I put that off to the side. <laughs> the uh, thread keeps hooking into my work. <laughs> Okay, so you're coming out of the silver bead. You're going to pick up two 11 -0 salmon color beads, a pearl. This is probably the easiest part. Although I think the whole thing's easy. You just got to make sure you remember to add the... Oh, that one's um not fully formed, that bead. Pick up two salmon. So that's what you have. Coming out of that silver, you're going to go into the next silver. And you're just going to do that around the edges. And I'm going to thread this little tail back in. So pick up two. And this, like, you can change how many beads you put and what size pearls. So if, if you have a bigger crystal that you want to bezel and you think a larger, say a six millimeter pearl might suit better to go around, you could do that. You might need to add three seed beads instead of two like that. So go from one silver to the next like that. I cannot believe that needle went right through that thread. Can you tell? I'm starting to get angry with the beads. It's all your fault. You do it to me every time. 
I was talking beads to my wife today, Jen. She's like, I don't want to... The fact that I know what you're talking about, you've gone one step too far. <laughs> She's teasing me. And go through the last silver like that and there is my so we might as well do the full bezel I'll just take it out when nobody's watching <laughs> that would be cheating <laughs> so put your last one on go through the next silver and at that point, you can go up or down and weave your thread in like that. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Maybe I've changed my mind from the three. Let's see what it looks like with the four. You could either do it that way or kitty corner. That kind of looks nice that way too. But I think I'm going to stick with my initial design of that. Yeah, I think that's it. And there we have it. So I hope that worked out and you could see what I was doing. And uh, if not, we'll do, we'll do some different colors. But this looks amazing, just like that. You could make this into a pair of earrings easily. Let me. Oh, it's beautiful. So there you go. Take care. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.